what up what up it's your boy world star and today we got a just another short video for y'all i'm just gonna go over the settings and what i have for my controls and what i use in pvp so let's get started um ember look set that to off vibration set that to off uh cycle camera and a light bar it doesn't really matter so the lock on mode for on foot and on your vehicle i would suggest i would suggest putting it to wide um it's just kind of gives you a wider area where the game will lock onto a certain target. Um, automatic pin switching. I will set that up. I will set that to off. So the pin switching is basically um, if you're using the Lamat revolvers and you run out of ammo, like run out of uh, revolver bullets, that will determine whether it will automatically switch to your shells or not. I would suggest uh, keeping that off. Uh, third person controls. I set that to standard FPS too. The main reason I did that was because you will be able to sprint with R1 instead of X. Sprinting with R1 will help when you're aimed down sights and you still need to move quickly. Um, if you're aiming down sights and you're trying to sprint with X, it's a little bit harder for you to try to dive or to try to shoot sometimes. At least when you have that on R1, it's a little bit easier. Um, the horse camera i set that to just like camera relative i mean y'all can do whatever you want for that um for the look sensitivities for third and first person put that all the way up um just makes it a little bit easier the dead zone is basically how much you got to move the right analog stick for your camera uh not camera uh for your controller to register it so you want to keep that all the way down so that even the slightest movement it will register that accessibility um toggle to run just makes shit a whole lot easier for you so you don't have to keep tapping r1 or tapping x the whole time tap assist um i would suggest keeping that off because um rockstar had an update like maybe like a year ago if you change the tap assist you will lose stamina a lot quicker so just keep that off for the camera um follow level i would suggest keeping that at minimal because Let's say you're riding your horse or something, or maybe you don't like 360s and shit. You don't want your camera just following you, just, you know, just going all over the place. First person, cam the first person, like, camera and stuff like that, it doesn't really matter if you don't play first person. But if you want to put your stuff like this, you can go ahead, uh, put the field of view all the way up so you can see more around you. Turn the ragdoll off, head bobbing reduced, aim auto center off, cover off, horse riding on, and vehicles on. Uh, the horse riding in vehicles doesn't matter. It's kind of subjective. You can do whatever you want. It might be easier to put it off, but I just kept it on because, like I said, I don't play first person. But lastly, um, for the radar, it's the only setting that you got to change in the display. You can change all the other shit that you want, but you don't have to. I would suggest putting the radar to expanded, so it will force the radar to display as a larger version at all times. So what uh what that will do. It will help you see more on your mini map. So if there's like a bunch of enemies just kind of far away from you, you can see them on your mini map from a further distance um, than if you would have just had the regular. But um, yeah, I hope that answers um, everybody's questions about what settings or controls I use. Um, this is World Star Elite uh, signing out. Good luck out there.